Samuel Porter lives near an abandoned house that he wants to explore. So he and his friends take a short walk and soon find themselves standing outside of its gnarled wooden door. Someone has gone to great lengths to keep trespassers away. The door is locked and the window they get in through is covered in barbed wire. The inside of the old cottage is filthy and collapsing. Large sections of the floor have been eaten away, but they curiously press on. Samuel Porter pokes his head through a hole in the ceiling to see what's on the second floor, a decision he will remember forever. The first thing he notices are two sticks that have been formed into a hanging cross for some reason. <laughs> then to the left he sees the knotted rope. I did notice one thing about this creepy scenario. If this is an actual noose meant for hanging purposes, then it looks to be set the wrong height for someone to use on themselves. I'm curious to find out what you think happened in this room. To me, it unfortunately looks pretty obvious. This scary paranormal investigation comes from an unknown uploader somewhere in Russia or Ukraine. Two brave ghost hunters pull up to a lone house rotting in the woods. A haunted place known for strange poltergeist activity. The inside looks fairly normal, but being here gives them an unshakable feeling of being watched. They're exploring room to room and soon don't see much activity until they get towards the back of the house. That's when things get weird. Okay, that's a lot of scary stuff to happen at once. I counted three creepy things, so let's go through them all. We all saw the ghost throwing objects to the ground, so that's one. You probably didn't see the shadow figure caught on camera seconds before it happened. That's two. A rising cry after the ghost throws an object to the ground is the third creepy thing. They are brave ghost hunters, so it's going to take more than that to make them scared enough to run back into the woods. More, but not much more. A ghost slams the door shut on a room that I guess they are forbidden to enter. Who knows what scary stuff went on back there. Strange secrets that even someone's ghost doesn't want you to know. And maybe it's just me, but right as the door slams shut, I think I see a shadow figure materialize at 1 minute and 55 seconds. Tell me if you see what I mean. Whatever they saw or felt or heard was scary enough to make them jump back in their car and never return. A YouTuber named Spunk Flunk recorded this video with the innocent intention of asking people to follow him on Google+. Little did he realize the paranormal moment that he accidentally caught while filming the video. If you look at the doll on the bed at the 29 second mark, you will clearly see that the doll moves its hand to the side and then back down. Um, click add to circles and then just click following. That'd be awesome. It'll only take like a few seconds and that'll get me to 1,000 followers. The fact that it moves its hand back down makes me think this video was not done by a string. In addition, most of his recent videos have nothing to do with the paranormal. What do you think caused this bizarre moment? Baird Strudwick and his friends are just goofing around at a local trampoline park when they decide it would be funny to cover him in bubble wrap and do some stunts. None of them, not even Baird, expected this gag would almost cost him his life. The green bubble wrap suit definitely looks amusing, but after a while, Baird gets overheated and goes down. They quickly rip the suit off, and Baird says he's feeling okay at first. A little bit later, it becomes obvious that what he's actually feeling is the early onset of heat stroke. Now all of his friends gather around him and try to think of a reasonable plan as Baird sits on a chair with his head hanging low. 
No. Yeah, I, feel, I was gonna say you could get like a wet towel. Like, so you say out of the cold will help a lot. As you ain't doing too well. If you guys have like a hand towel, you just like. About 40 tense minutes pass before Baird finally recovers enough to film an outro for the video. He is still drenched in sweat and looks woozy, but I'm really glad nothing permanent happened. I will admit that I didn't think anything serious would come from this idea, and this sudden turn of events took me by surprise. Hopefully this video will help us all think twice before attempting anything similar. What Presence is Roaming Around Donna Mary's House Published by Chris L. Luna in April of 2022, the ghost hunter captures the spirit blowing onto the scene as a seance is being done. The spirit then directly falls over those present, including the seer. <laughs> A presence is again sensed in the background, in what is either a window or a mirror. Something again passes by a window. As they communicate with the ghost, this appearance is more clearly visible. Do you think this is Donna Mary herself, or is some darker evil presence? This place needs signs saying, do not enter. Published in May of 2022, Hassan Barbar is searching through an abandoned building. When he sees this dark figure through a window, it looks like a djinn. The figure quickly moves out of view. And when Hassan enters the room, he is gone. Hassan locks himself inside the now empty room, but it seems like something is still in the room with him. He spies something written on the wall. Is it a message from the djinn? He turns to look in this cupboard again, and the lights are again messed with, and that's not the only havoc in the room. As he looks around, he turns back to the overhanging lights, and suddenly there's a bucket covering one of them. I love you, Juan. When he reaches up to touch the light, it's almost like he's electrocuted. Something then obscures his camera. It's the bucket from the light. What is happening here? Hassan is not sure, but I suspect it's the Jin's handiwork. A YouTuber named Julie G797 was watching live BBC news coverage of a worker's strike in Hong Kong when he catches what seems to be undeniable evidence of a UFO. There you go. Look at that. Descending on the top of that building. The mysterious green light hangs around the top of a building for only moments before shooting straight up into the sky. This footage was taken directly from the television screen and seems very hard, if not impossible, to fake. Right now, people are mostly debating if the light is too big to be a quadcopter drone. I guess it could be a drone, but if not, I think this very well may be a legitimate alien UFO sighting. A YouTuber captures an apparition on his doorbell cam that somehow changes shape and color. First, it has an oversized white head with no face, then it becomes see-through to the point where you can make out the bush behind it, and then it switches to a blinding white color without getting thinner. The whole time it somewhat resembles a human in height and gait, but how? Since this is the only footage of the apparition, we may never know. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Project Bad 720 this Redditor wrote, We moved out of our last house because the activity was getting out of hand. Now it's acting up again. The Redditor also included that they're in West Texas. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about.
There was certainly some discussion about this video in the comments. Creepy Girl Tia wrote, Sounds like you have brought something that a spirit is attached to, that you brought to your new place, or the spirit is attached to you. And Fiery Witchburn333 has a similar sentiment saying, The houses aren't haunted, you are. Seek help. And the uploader responded saying, I actually believe I am being followed, so this makes sense. Do you think that's what's going on here? Let me know in the comments. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Bushwookie83, this redditor wrote, Looks like Mike Myers paying me a visit. WTF is that? Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Hey man. That is cool. What are you doing? What's going on? You okay? Can I get away? There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Duck Consume Bread wrote, Man, I don't know how you could just sit there. I'd already be moved out, lol. Well, Neo One Lone Wolf 6985 wrote, It looks like the reflection of your flashlight on your phone, reflecting on certain parts of the glass, giving off the illusion of a face, actually. Looks like the exact same tattoo I have of Michael Myers on my arm. Which side are you on here? Let me know in the comments. A YouTuber named Shahara Negron and her family have been experiencing some strange activity ever since they moved into a new place. Lately, her daughter has been complaining that her toys have been moving all by themselves and one doll in particular seems to be at the center of it all. This doll actually looks like and it's kind of old. Well, I have nothing really precious or special about it, but it just has this feeling about it. She sits and watches the doll as orbs dance all around. It isn't long before something starts to happen. This is some freaky. It's, oh, I'm about to run. What the? Whoa, what the fuck? I was thinking that somebody hidden behind the chair was moving it, but then the recliner footrest comes out by itself at the end. As far as I know, somebody would have had to grab the lever on the side or press the button, but I don't see anyone. Tell me if you think this family is legitimately being haunted. JP Videos is exploring a seemingly haunted abandoned house. When he gets some really scary stuff caught on tape, the place has fallen into a state of disrepair and it only gets creepier when they find rotten steps leading into the basement. All right, let's go down the uh, creepy spiral staircase. Oh, I got hooked. The mattresses look to be cleaner and newer than anything else down here. Creepy mattresses down here. It's like a partially finished basement, but it's random mattresses laying around. And the blinds are pulled closed like somebody has been sleeping here recently. Hopefully there are no strangers down here because a surprise encounter would probably not be pleasant. The basement stretches across many different rooms. JP is getting all of the hidden rooms on camera when some really scary stuff is caught on tape. These are my favorite type of explorers too, just abandoned houses, you know, seeing contents from the former owners and just trying to imagine what took place here. A lone crib on display in the center of the room gives him a nauseous feeling. But this, uh, okay, little creepy. Fastened around the top is a plank of wood with other pieces of scrap wood laying nearby. When tied over the top with a rope, this crib becomes more like a cage that is too small for even a toddler to stand in. Multiple mattresses in the corner create the impression that this building has been overtaken by numerous squatters. I seriously hope no one was left to fend for themselves in that crib. No food or water, hopelessly and cruelly trapped under these two boards. This orphanage turned satanic church holds a lot of secrets.
The team was lured to the place after seeing a shadow figure. In footage captured by urban explorers in the building, watch the dark passage. You saw a shadow figure in that video and uh, you sent it over to me and I was like, no doubt that that's a shadow figure. So we definitely know that shadow figures are here roaming about. But also another thing is... Um now it's Ghost Club Paranormal's turn to find the truth. Upon entering the haunted cult house, they discover some disturbing imagery. Like literally I'm not... Be careful, don't be around that thing that's from people shooting when they pull out their EMF meter, they get a jumpy reading. We are getting, <laughs> I literally, okay, I mean, for a building with absolutely zero electricity, that makes no sense. If there's anybody. They also capture an EVP. Later, their REM pod is triggered. Hidden And shortly after, what sounds like footsteps are heard. Hey, Cam. I just heard footsteps right behind me. Then they get a clear answer from the spirits. We need to make clear contact with you right now if you're here with us. If you want to communicate with us, that's what we need from you. Oh my god, it's going off, it's going off. Shine your light up there. It's going And it's not long before they see them too. Watch the shadows in the hallway beyond. It's totally fine talking to us as well. Talking to us as well. Do you see the shape-shifting shadow whip through? I sure did. After that, the crew is given the fright of their lives. Just in case something does happen. Wow. Okay. Okay. I am definitely feeling the terrifying energy in this house. But whether it's the young ghost congregant or Satan himself is anyone's guess. This home inspector wasn't expecting to find this. Published by Cleveland Marco in July of 2011, the inspector is at this residence and explains that a former resident is said to have passed away in her sleep there and that her ghost remains. As he's explaining that the ghost is said to enjoy walking around and opening doors in the home. A door opposite slams open by itself. This surprises them all. And she likes to open doors. And she says, well, they say that doors open by themselves. No way! They try it again. The inspector opens a door, and as he does, the door across the room opens as well. All right, let's do this again. Oh, here it goes. Open the door. Oh, it's man. Unbelievable. No. This happens three times. While some are saying it's the air pressure in the room, others are keener on the ghost story. I definitely think something mysterious is going on in this house. A street cam video from Papua New Guinea has caught something really bizarre on tape that I wanted to get your opinion on. A pale apparition appears to form under a street signal, and what it does next leaves government workers speechless. This ghost sighting could be a trick of the light. You can see the headlights of an approaching vehicle at 12 seconds right when the ghost supposedly flies up into the air. What they think is a ghost could be an optical illusion caused by rays of light bending towards the camera on a rainy day. Here's a freaky sighting. Imagine you're playing guitar with your friends when something decides to pay a visit. Published by Navigon in November of 2007, this creepy video shows some dudes practicing in a bedroom. One is playing the guitar, the other is singing, and the third is recording the session. But as it turns out, there's a fourth uninvited guest nearby. <laughs> Wonder, 
As they continue to play, the friend filming the session takes a broader shot of the singer, and towering in the doorway behind him is a seemingly tall man. Standing sentry and staring into the room, in the comments of this video, David F.E. writes, It's a humanoid being about seven feet tall, not a ghost. Many people have reported them before. Whatever the case, in the moment, the friend filming doesn't spot the humanoid. The three continue their session without any reaction, and the next time the cameraman pans over, the figure is gone. They must have spotted the humanoid later in the playback, a humanoid that was so close he could have touched them. What would you do if you saw this over your friend's shoulder? This double doll haunting recently occurred somewhere in South America. Two girls are happily talking to the camera while clutching their Barbie dolls. They are admiring their toys when suddenly their toys admire them back. Both dolls twist their head all the way around to look at the girls, who scream and throw their possessed toys to the floor. You can clearly see that the girls are not holding the dolls anywhere near their heads when they start to move, so maybe it is real after all. If anyone can translate what these girls were saying, then perhaps it will help us figure out if this video is fake or legitimate after all. Costa Rica is full of many beautiful sights. Under your pillow is not one of them. Scorpion on my pillow. <laughs> Alive? I'd say it's very much still alive. A gigantic stinger is curled high above at the ready. I don't know if he was sleeping under this terrifying creature all night, but I think he might have been. If so, he's really lucky he never fluffed the pillow. Seriously though, I really want to know what kind of scorpion this is and how risky this event really was. Posted by Cosmic Messenger 01, this video teaches you that what's ever lurking in the shadows isn't what you should fear. The shadows themselves are. Taken at the Campo Grande MS Penitentiary in Brazil, the grainy footage shows a dark gray barracks appearing empty at night, although it's likely not empty, as clothes hang on wires out of each of the windows. Now watch on the bottom floor as something appears to be moving on the side of one wall. The shadow person begins to move upward before moving sideways and appearing to duck down behind some clothing. You can see the shadow duck out again, moving in an amoeba-like style, towards the wall and upward, before the shadow disappears out of sight. What is going on here? Is there a prison ghost here? Whatever it is, I don't want to find out. Published by Mindzoga in April of 2013, the uploader writes, While riding in huge forest, I accidentally found a secret base. It is completely deserted and one of the spookiest places I have ever been. The uploader was biking across a dirt road through Lithuania when he came across this base. The video shows derelict buildings on either side of the road. Having long been abandoned, it's hard to tell who or what the buildings once housed, but there's plenty of them. Soon the bikers entered a more wooded area where he decides to go off-road with his bike. He comes across a triangular building built into the ground. There's also a deep hole in the concrete and a concrete slab set to the side with something, possibly a pipe entering the hole. The biker approaches the dark triangular building. Inside there's only rubble and darkness. He strolls around the area and notes that one of the tree-like hidden underground ventilation chimneys lay on the ground. After driving a bit further, he comes across another of these triangular buildings. Upon closer inspection, the inside of the building is filled with small rooms. In the distance, he hears something that sounds like a bang which adds to the creepy ambiance of these remains of a facility. He comes across yet another triangular building where he notices a large ring on the ground which he believes to be an underground silo cover. This place may have once been the headquarters of a Russian facility, but now it's nothing more than a ghost town of deserted buildings. Which do you think is more eerie? Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.